I'm taking part in a really interesting uh, concert this year. Uh, one of my teachers when I was younger was a guy called Duncan Johnston, um, very influential piper. And uh, he's, he's one of the guys that got me really into the music of the pipes. And um, his, he was a great composer as well. His son has actually composed a, a classical piece, or should I say a, a kind of classical traditional music piece um, with a kind of chamber orchestra and some pipes and whistles. So I'm playing as part of that on the, the Thursday night. It's a concert that I'm really excited about um, musically and also there's a kind, of, a kind of fondness there for me because obviously it's um, tunes by Duncan that he taught me, you know, so looking forward to it. We've got a, a great variety this year of different bands from different countries. Um, we've got some great traditional piping. Um, we've got uh, Capper Cayley, which is a well-known kind of contemporary outfit. We've got piping from all over the world. We've got guys like Luigi Lau from Sardinia playing the triple pipes. Uh, we've got Elliot Grasso, who's um, a fantastic Ulean piper coming all the way from uh, Philadelphia. Uh, we've got bands from New Zealand, Australia, America, you name it, really. And that's, that's the essence of the festival, I suppose. It's about saying, you know, most people recognise the, the Scottish piper or the, that image of of Scotland portrayed through pipes and the music, but um, and, and we are very proud of that. But what we are saying is, there's there's this whole world out there of different types of piping and music um, that that we're trying to just open the public's eyes to, and and it's good crack as well. It's good fun, you know. Part part of it's the music, part of it's meeting old friends and new friends and getting together, playing some music, and there's that real common theme of. Um, the music being really important to the culture.